Gustos and Cronomly Biots. Who didn't see this one coming today from Market Watch? Make sure you guys smash your everything and that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more market watches. So, Donna Majesty reveals yesterday morning kind of sent the market in a tipsy topsy little spiral. And uh, as you would see, yeah, Gusto Cards ended up getting bought out. Nebra Disc ended up getting bought out. So, it's uh, time to see the, the collateral damage here. Actually, Comms actually still on the market here at 12 bucks, which is actually kind of interesting. Griffins, uh, well, these also got destroyed along the way. I remember seeing that these were pretty cheap yesterday. We're at 13 bucks. It's not horrible. Um, the DT buyouts actually for the Gusto stuff didn't hit too close to home. Uh, Pelicas did hit close to home though. These were, I think, $7 yesterday morning before the announcement sent them spiraling down. I'm expecting a reprint of this somewhere along the way. Wind up Priestess of the Gusto, whoo. They're holding line here at 15, then we jump up to 50. Regular qualms, um, about seven bucks right now. DT copies of Gusto Guido, yeah, those actually shot up really hard, actually. Uh, there's no copies of Gusto Eagle on the market at all for uh, DTs. Uh, interesting enough, like, like I said, like we did not hit these too hard for regular copies. All right, um, contact with Gustos, still pretty cheap. But as you can see, the more impactful versions of the cards definitely got destroyed in value. value things like Kamui, Ariz didn't have any sort of touching on that side of the market. So, and of course the Digosto side here, Emerald, I forgot this card existed. Uh, Freeze here, these didn't go up too crazy actually. These are $12 with pushing up to 14. Digosto Phoenixes, eh, seven bucks. Regular copies, uh, or excuse me, DT Guidos here, 420 plus shipping. Uh, Eagles at the three dollar mark, and well, regular freezes actually didn't get touched. Uh, I'm actually probably expecting more movement from these later on in their life, but when I'm seeing like dollar, two dollar copies here still for these, uh, very interesting. So these didn't go as crazy as I actually thought they were going to. So considering it's a uh, hidden arsenal six, but uh, huh, I guess not. Ah, Kranomly card. So besides number 33. Always just kind of being up in price because you know there's infinite OTKs because of Machu Maku. Never disc actually ended up rattling the cage. These were a dollar yesterday morning. Uh, it's what like a 600 500 percent increase essentially overnight. So six bucks, seven bucks right now on Never disc. I, I assume that we'll get a reprint from this. It is from World Superstars, so it has to be up on the chopping block here. Chronomaly Crystal Chrononaut dollars. Uh, number C6 here, eh, still pretty high listing numbers for these. City Babylon, still pretty cheap. I'm assuming everything else for this deck, besides Never Disc, is literally going to be the only thing that really got touched. Yeah, literally looks like Never Disc was the biggest buyout target for this. Yep. I mean, Never Disc does everything that you want it to do for this particular deck, so that's something to keep in mind. All right, so we did get the new Instant Fusion, a.k.a. the, the vanilla-flavored ramen. Uh, came out and there's been a lot of hype around a lot of the vanilla monsters now Granted the new instant fusion says level six or lower uh, which did open up a lot of doors So basically if it was a vanilla fusion monster guess what happened it uh, started to do some things so rose specter of doom This is probably one of my more favorites here. These are available at 12 bucks right now This is gonna be your uh, plant fusion monster the marine beast here uh, level five for this as you can see here. These are still pretty pretty pricey Skullbirds here coming in about the ten to eleven dollar mark. Uh, actually just once the cheap ones gone We're at nineteen dollars for this stupid thing. Hey, look look the power of vanilla fusion monsters at work All right mystical sand another one here. This thing is this thing for some reason is rock I never really understood that uh, it's Ancient Elf plus uh, Giant Soldier Stone on a level 6 body. Once again, you meet that rock requirement, you're good to go. Alright, we also have Vermilion Sparrow. This one actually kind of surprised me, but it is Fire Pyro for a fusion monster on a level 5. So that does open up some more eh, relatively interesting doors. I'm just surprised that like we're at $25 for this. Oh boy, I see... I see Skelegon, Soul Hunter, and the Man Eating Black Shark. All right, so Skelegon. Actually, these aren't bad. Eight bucks. All right, Soul Hunters coming in at the 
But once this mod play is gone, we're at seventeen dollars. Jikes! Uh, Man eating black shark. Uh, let's see. This thing is what sea common gruesome ghoul plus Amazon of the seas. Wow. All right. I see we have an Italian copies up here. Hmm. For not seven fifty, and we push on up to the nine dollar mark. All right. Metal Dragon from LOB. You already know if it's LOB, it's uh, it's gonna be expensive. It's just kind of how life works these days out here. Man, thirty nine forty cents for these isn't bad. But how many pages do I have to go to get first steads here? Uh, light plays are fifty two dollars for a stupid rare. Near mints are fifty nine bucks. Huh? It's Power of the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. The set. Who would have guessed? How much is uh? Chira, Cherubin here going for the first dead copies. All right, light place for 13 bucks. That's amazingly not bad, all things considered. And then, of course, the classic one for the vanilla side of things here uh, Carbonella Warrior. I love how this only has three pages. Cool, no first editions exist for Carbonella Warrior on the market. Also, who would have guessed that? Hmm. Ah, Sea Monster of Worth a Lot of Money. So, for whatever reason, these have started to kind of settle back down. I'm actually kind of impressed with how fast these actually spun back down in price. Uh, granted, Raging Tempest copies are nine bucks, but you can pick up a Mega Pack one for a five dollar in some change shipping. So this actually isn't too terrible if you wanted to get ahead of the game and have one. Um, just for the interaction of it being a tuner. There is another tuner coming. It's going to be level two. But cool thing with this one is it's Ultimaya Tzolkin fodder. Also, for whatever reason today, uh, the rich people came out and said, I want to buy all the Apollosas on the market. So for whatever reason, all the Starlight Apollosas in the entire TCG marketplace uh, just decided to walk up and leave. And these were at $800, all right? For whatever reason, thirteen fifty ninety eight is the lowest right now, and then it goes up to four thousand uh, dollars. If you have one of these, congratulations, you're officially rich. All right, God, I can't believe that this got bought out of all things. Ecclesias are also kind of starting to spin up. Um, this was actually pointed out today. Uh, still sitting at like the twenty eight twenty nine dollar mark. Kind of keep an eye on these. You might start seeing some drops in those over time. All right, speaking of Dazolkin, <laughs> these are still like $34, $35. And then you got super copies here, three fifties plus shipping. Uh, more Tazolkins. Yeah, uh, budget Tazolkins are dollars. Uh, ooh, dual stuff tomorrow. Amazonas Swordswoman. Uh, five bucks a piece for these, all right? Now keep in mind, there are uh, other Amazonas Swordswomans. There's also the Speed Duel Ultra Rare. These are 34 bucks for whatever reason. So, the regular ones from the set aren't too bad. Typical speed duel buyouts. These things are always so weird. Oh, Dark Blade the Dragon Knight. Oh boy, a goat buyout. Hit me with this. A lot of damage to back here, actually. It's actually kind of interesting. Uh, let's see here. Um, a lot of heavy plate. Light plate for 80 bucks for first eds. That's not bad. 100 for near mint. All right, goat buyouts doing their thing. Uh, the Red Dragon Archfiend from the Collector's Tin also, yeah, this thing actually got wiped out. <laughs> you see, uh, we, we said it's $16 here, but uh, as you can see, it's a very high jumping point after that. So, uh, yeah, all right, that's interesting to see. Uh, Tyrant's Temper, I don't know what I missed with this. This is like, I think this is the second or third time this card's got bought out. Tribute one face of monster face of monsters you own are unaffected by the effects of other trap cards. So for whatever reason, the Tyrant's Temper, besides being a Star Strike Blast card, we're straight right back up into today's expensive cards. That's hilarious. Malakota, regular copies got bought out today. So you can still buy an Unlimited Ghost Rare for $28 from Malakota. All right, keep that in mind. It's still available to you. But for whatever reason, the Secrets of Eternity versions, there's one listing at $20. I don't know who just, once again, you have Apollosa getting bought out, and somebody else is like, nah, today I'm going to buy out Malakota for whatever reason. I don't get this market some days, to be honest with you. Uh, Gravekeeper's Recruiter, we looked at this last week. Um, 
I didn't think too much about this. Uh, it's just it's an older Gravekeeper card. It tends we, we tend to see these trends start to kind of push things up here. Uh, but 11 bucks for the common short print from the Destiny Masters, and then $38 still for the Ultras from Yugi's World, and then $20 still from the regular set versions. Hmm. Naisu. War Rock Mountains, once again. Um, not not a bad point to be with these cards. Keep in mind as we're heading on into Lightning Overdrive here, uh, we'll potentially see this card probably start to head on up to the five to ten dollar range, depending on how the War Rock support turns out. If it's anything like Mutants, it's probably going to bomb. But I don't expect this card to go underneath the four dollar mark. I think we're just going to kind of cruise the line at four bucks and just never really care. All right. And then last but not least here. For whatever reason, Swift Scarf Crow from Astro Pack 4. Um, yeah, somebody said they just went to go pick up a set of these today in Super, and they were like, what's going on? Why are these $10? So for whatever reason, and I'm not sure what's going on here with this, I assume it's just an Astro Pack buyout, uh, but you're $10. What else is going on in this set? Uh, oh, yeah, this is the Max C set. <laughs> $135 Necro Valleys, $105 uh, Dandelions. Yep, there's Mavilus at 16 bucks. Yep, that doesn't really surprise me. Uh, more and more vanilla monsters. So guys, what do you think about today's market? Make sure you guys smash everything in the crap button, subscribe button, so you guys don't miss out more excellent content. And I look forward to reading the comments talking about how bad today's buyouts actually were. Yeah, yeah good one, guys. Three Gusto cards, and we bought out like half of the archetype. Who would have guessed? Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vancall 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcall 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcallgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.